for a woman who's 38 years old to be saying to me, Gigi, I'm 38. I want to get married. I want to have children. We've never talked about being exclusive, about being monogamous, about what he wants for the future. He's never asked me about what I want for the future, but we have a lot of fun together. I just looked at her stunned. She's 38 years old. And she's still acting like she's 23 years old. She was telling me, she's narrating the story about how she's going on these amazing trips with this man and how much fun they're having. And the theme of fun was actually what was the same theme for all the other three women. The story was this for the other women too. But I'm having so much fun. And that's what I've been doing for years. I've just been having so much fun going from one festival to another, from one party to another, from one country to another, from one thing to another, from one program, from one retreat, from one experience to another. But Gigi, I'm having so much fun. If you want to be a mother and a householder, if you want to attract a man who's going to say, I want you, I choose you, then you have to prioritize something other than fun. And I said to her, how do you feel? How, how have you felt when you've rushed in to have fun and have sex with a guy and he disappears like all of them have and that's why you're single and, and she said it feels terrible, it feels terrible some self-esteem, some self-worth, some ruthlessness of a warrior, then maybe we wouldn't be having this conversation. But in hookup culture, these women are the slaves of hookup culture. Fellas, 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 you want to know what women do when they are single? The first thing they do cry on social media, play the victim role to gain sympathy. I know when a woman's single because the first thing she will do is make a Facebook status, make an Instagram story announcing that she's single. The loudest one in the room is usually the single one. The one that's cock blocking all of her friends is usually the single one. The one that wants to party 24 seven is usually the single one. The free spirit, whatever they want to use, whatever verbiage these delusional women want to put on it. You will know their mindset just by talking to them for a little moment. And this is why fellas, I always recommend before you invite a chick to your crib, unless you vetted her before, unless you like know her, don't do that. Take her to the movies. Take her somewhere cheap. And if she doesn't want to go to the movies, bro, or somewhere um, within your budget, she's clearly not worth it anyways. Because you don't want to invite these party chicks to your crib, right? Because you're going to more than likely smash and dip. And she's going to probably accuse you of something. The list goes on. Mess up your shit. Make a scene. Because they're so emotionally unstable and childish. A lot of these women, when they are in their prime years, they just don't use it. They don't understand that these years are their prime because society is constantly telling them that they will be young forever. And the women that are telling them that they will be young forever are single. So you're getting advice from single women. Does that make any sense to you? It's essentially the blind leading the blind. It's the endless cycle 
And you guys even saw in the little video that it's 16 to 25 for every young. That's their mindset. 25 to 30. I don't need no men. 30 to 37. Where are all the good men? 37 to 46. I'm still young. 46 through death. I made a mistake. Last words. Men ain't shit. That's the mindset that these women have. They're childish. You have to literally give them attention and validation, quote unquote. That's what they ask for. That's something that a child wants. So you're essentially dating a child. The only difference is the number behind the name. These women are childish. They go after things that make them tickle. Things that are quote unquote fun, which is like partying, doing stupid shit, making memories, right? Making memories that don't even benefit the next generation at that well, what does, let's say for instance, I go to a party, a college party, pretty fun. I jump off of, I don't know, a five story building onto a trampoline, backflip into the swimming pool. Let's say a stupid memory like that, right? How does that benefit my children? How would that benefit the generation after me, right? And if you're red pill, you know that memories are cool but they don't benefit the next generation. Very few do. Knowledge benefits the next generation. You go into a party and you get railed by five other guys. That's memories that don't benefit anyone. The memories I want to have, right? The knowledge I want to pass down will be generational. So that's the thing that these women don't understand. They will end up wasting their good years being childish because that is for sure a childish mindset. And just end up in this endless cycle of hating men. And I probably have women watching this uh, video right now that are like, yo, this guy's just sexist, whatever the case may be, man. It it doesn't matter who tells you this information. You're still going to take it and flip it and twist it. A woman is telling you that this is happening and to be aware of it. But a lot of women are so ignorant, they're just not going to listen to the message. It's annoying and it's sad. Because they're going to constantly bitch about it on social media. We have to hear it. I can go on my Facebook right now, in my Instagram right now, and I will see at least 100 girls, right? Because I got like thousands of friends and thousands of followers. I can at least see 100 plus women complaining about men constantly. Because the loudest one in the room is usually the most single. These are facts. The loudest woman in the room is the most single woman. They are legitimately so obvious with like insecurities and with things like that. A lot of them party because they don't want to face reality. You're partying because back home it's miserable. You cannot be alone. You need outside stimuli in order to survive, in order for you to be happy. And it's sad. Very sad. Fellas, this is the dating market of 2021. It's an endless cycle of I hate men after I've been railed by 50 other guys. And now you got to pick up the scraps. Bullshit. Other than that, thumbs up the video. Let me know down in the comment section below. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. No matter what, things brutal. Peace.